Welcome back, friends. Uh, I've had a little break. I've been doing a lot of traveling. Took a three-week road trip through the western United States, which was great, camping some of the time. I also took a spill in a parking lot on the asphalt and came down, broke my fall with my hand, and so I've had a very, very sore hand for the last couple of months that's been preventing me from playing much. Thankfully, I'm on the mend now, and I can get back to playing some guitar. So I've had some questions about Thick as a Brick, about the strumming pattern in it. And I want to clear that up for uh, you, those of you who might be a little confused about it. You see those upstrokes really kind of uh, are accentuated. So there's two upstrokes. Same pattern when he goes to the minor shape. So two upstrokes in the strumming pattern in between those uh, figures. On the record, the tempo is really pretty fast. So on those upstroke, he doesn't really have time to do that rate upstroke, which is his signature. But later on, he slowed the tempo a little bit and he started to make that much more pronounced. Really started raking those upstrokes, but once again, the tempo on the original was so fast, he really couldn't do that. Couldn't do that nearly as pronounced. Now, in the verses, really don't mind if you sit this one out. Um, most people do not get that right. They go from a D to an A minor, and then they just go to a regular G chord. Or they might play it like that. Really don't mind if you sit this one out. But that's not what he plays. He plays a G suspended four. So he leaves this note in the chord, and you'll hear that that creates a tension that is really cool that's not there when you're playing the regular G. Real, this is the regular G. Really don't mind if you sit this one out. Now listen to the suspension. Really don't mind. If you sit this one out, sit this one. Having that note against the suspension creates this tension. Really don't mind if you sit this one out. All right, so here's a video of Ian playing it live, and then I've got a snapshot of his fingering for this chord, and you'll see that he le leaves, leaves that note in the chord. So here it is. All right, the one other thing is that I've stressed before that he picks the A string. So he uses a downstroke and an upstroke to uh, play that A string. He also does that in the verses. Really don't mind if you sit this one. 
All right, the strumming on that is the same really that you've been doing. Every time he's playing that A string, he's picking it. Most people hammer that on that I see that cover this because it's much, much easier. So if you want to play it like that, that's great. You know, it sounds good, but it's not, uh, once again, my forensic guitar analysis. I have to dig down there and find out how he does everything exactly. He also does it up here. He picks it again. So at, at tempo, that's a very difficult move for me. And um, so if you want to hammer it on, that's great too but on the record he picks it. All right, um, I think that'll do it for today, a short explanation of Thick as a Brick, and I hope that that helps with the strumming pattern and the fingering during the verses. So I will return pretty soon with some more tutorials. So until then, bye, have a great day.